Hi, this is John, and many of you know that I've been meditating for years. It's a huge part of my life, and it's getting to be a bigger and bigger part because the benefits are just so tremendous. My body feels incredible. I feel less stress. I'm calmer. I'm more clear. Creativity flows. I'm more productive, and I just love the feeling of being in that deep, relaxed, meditative state. I think it's the most important practice that I do and as time goes on I only want to do it more and more. And the visualizations that we do are a type of meditation and that's why I stress them so heavily because the really twofold benefits. One, you're getting all the stress reduction benefits which are enormous for weight loss but you're also making your mind stronger and stronger and more powerful to help you make changes in your weight loss effort and in any area of your life. But recently there's been a lot of studies to come out to support the fact that meditation is tremendously useful for all types of health benefits. But a recent study came out that, in my opinion, directly links the fat programs or the fat switch with meditation, and that is that meditation can actually help you turn off the fat switch. This is something I've known for years and years, and I've known in my own experience, but there's an interesting correlation here in this one study. It's a Harvard medical study where they took two groups of people, one was a control, the other is they did deep relaxation, yoga, and meditation every day, and what they found was really compelling. I'm just going to read it to you. After two months, their bodies began to change. The genes that help fight inflammation kill disease cells, and protect the body from cancer all began to switch on. Specifically what that's saying is that meditation helped switch on genes that help fight inflammation. Now inflammation, that is chronic low-grade inflammation coming from one source or another, whether it's emotional stress or whether it's from digestive problems or eating the wrong foods, whatever it is, but chronic low-grade inflammation is the number one perpetrator that switches on the fat programs. The reason is, is that the hormones involved in inflammation, they're called pro-inflammatory cytokines, they cause leptin and insulin resistance. And leptin and insulin resistance basically turns your body into a fat storage machine. You lose the ability to burn fat, you're hungry all the time, your brain actually thinks you've got no fat on your body and acts as if you're starving to death, so you're hungry and you can't eat enough, and you're craving sweets, and you can't burn fat. If you've ever lived through this scenario, which I have, if you've ever lived through this, you know that it's a vicious, vicious cycle. It's from leptin and insulin resistance, and it's caused by the hormones called pro-inflammatory cytokines that are switched on when you have chronic low-grade inflammation. And this study is a very powerful study to demonstrate the correlation between meditation and switching on the genes that fight inflammation, which means that you're also switching off the genes that activate the fat programs. It's that simple. So I'm sure we'll see many other studies like this, and more and more we're seeing studies that meditation is great for every possible thing, high blood pressure, cancer, heart disease. They found an interesting study that shows that Meditation improves the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, and anything that stress causes, any stress-related problems, meditation is the answer. You get better and better at it also. Here's another thing that the study found that I'm just going to read to you. More encouraging still, the benefits of the relaxation effect were found to increase with regular practice. The more people practice, the greater their chances of remaining free of arthritis and joint pain with stronger immunity, healthier hormone levels, and lower blood pressure. So being free of arthritis really means being free of the inflammatory hormones. And improved immunity makes perfect sense because the lower your stress levels, the greater your immune system. So the important thing is the more you practice, the better you get at it, and the better the benefits. And I'm living proof of that because I practice meditation every day. I love it, love it, and I can't encourage it enough. So Practice your visualization. That's a perfect type of meditation. And if you want to do more meditations, there's lots of resources out there that can teach you meditation on YouTube, on Google, or email us, and we'll try to find some resources for you too. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Take care.